Main Didier and Peter with me here. Uh, Peter's looking at some notes, so I'm going to ask Didier, as I say, the proud Frenchman. It really was such a complete performance from the French. Yeah, because, um, okay, we're going to talk about Kylian after, but uh, the, the, they've got control. Uh, I think defensively they're quite good, even though, you know, Poland could have scored, but uh, you can always concede and, uh, and way they attack, you know, the, the, the transition, I think they, they, they've got everything. That's a complete team, as you were saying. And, uh, and as well, you know, I think they've got a really good mindset, you know, and suffer together. I'm talking about Griezmann, he's an offensive midfielder, but look the amount of running he's doing just for the team. Giroud as well. That's why I was talking about those soul. You know, it's a mix of experience, of, uh, of young as well. Don't forget, we had the, one of the youngest team in 2018, and we still have the, uh, a lot of youngsters, even though USA and uh, and I think Ghana was the youngest, but uh, yeah, it's incredible. And, and they make us really proud because I will repeat to you, know, we have so many players out, you know, and, and, and half of the team, I forget even Nkunku, who was the best player in yeah, Germany last course, year, yeah. is the best goal scorer in Germany this year. So it's, uh, it's uh, as a French, you're really proud to see that team. But you can have talent, but it's always a balance between talent and organization. Mm -hmm. Talent and, and mindset and camaraderie. So uh, a great uh, a credit to Dijon as well, mm -hmm. because over the last uh, uh, maybe five tournaments, uh, we had some problem of behaviors. <laughs> He's laughing. Five tournaments. <laughs> we had some uh, problem of behaviors. It's something that always comes out of the French camp, yeah. isn't it? So the unrest at a competition at a big tournament. Yeah, but Lotta, the five uh, major tournament, we finished first every time of our group stage and we didn't have problem maybe a little bit last year but nothing really serious so that's a real consistent performance on the pitch and w when i look at brazil for example that's a great nation but there's a generation for 20 years they didn't win nothing we, we're so lucky to have a generation and since Zidane, we, we've been in the final even in 2006. We, we won it in 2018. So we're so proud of our boys. You, 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 you can't imagine, you know, the last one in your been absolutely incredible and we don't know what will happen in this one yeah it's kind of a little bit of building isn't it i mean we look at usa last night it is that isn't it when you get that young generation who all grow together and build together i'm not saying that the usa can achieve those heights there's still plenty to do but you see the 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 fruits of that labor of getting that rain talent to be blessed with the talent in the first place and then for it all to come together yeah it's um you know uh, you, you touched it on is like that french uh, had that that, that, that kind of little bit of drama, you know, I would say like if you have too many stars in, in, the, in the team, so they were not able all on the same page. But I think now you can see it, everybody's like putting himself a step behind in the, in, in the country's the number one, you know, and we, we, we touched on with, with Kerezman, you know, he, he's spending, he's running, he's in a box and, you know, in, in he's normally a star too, and especially in, 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 in his club, you know, you, you, you know he plays a different role than he plays with the national. But he puts himself behind the guys and say, you know what, I want to win trophies. I want to bring, you know, put this country up on on the map. And and then with the team going forward, they have the talent, you know. But you can see, I think it's it's um, a big uh, a big part on that place. The coach, you know, the, who keep them all together. In you know, you see how they celebrate after games, how when they score goals. Um, there's there's a lot of fun, laughing in the whole thing, and this comes uh, with. And I think as a coach, you have to have that feeling to, you know, how you manage them because a lot of stuff goes now to player management and that coaching. Mm. Yeah, you can't underestimate that from a player, from a, a man like Didier Deschamps, won everything as a, as a player and as a manager, winning the World Cup, won the Champions League with Marseille. They've never done it again. I mean, he is not just a tactically astute man in terms of being able to execute his plan on the pitch, but it's that man management that is so important because when you do have stars because not every team has them and this one is full of stars and that is a very tough line to tread isn't it Peter yeah but you know his credentials are second to none you know you when you as a player you won the World Cup you as you say you won the Champions League you were the captain you were the guy that lifted the trophy and then you go on to become a coach and you do the same thing you repeat that there's only very few people in the world who's done that it's the top of my mind Beckenbauer is one of them yeah uh, but and not Zagallo, many. yeah Zagallo. Uh, yeah, and so not not a lot of of, of, of uh, people have been able to do that. So when the players are in that dressing room and he's talking, they will listen because he knows what he's talking about. 
But it's not just about his leadership. I mean, it's fantastic what he's done, and he's done it for so long now. It really is fantastic how he's put this team together. It's also, I think, especially this World Cup with, with so many players being injured uh, in the run into this. No part, but no Kante, for instance. That was new for a long time. Mm-hmm. Then the Benzema, uh, then Kimpembe, yeah. you know. Yeah. This, this is proof of what they do from, from the beginning of, of a, a player's career, or not career, but when the kid starts to play football and how they bring them through uh, the academy and, yeah. and eventually they, that they can produce this group of player, or players of this quality. I know they lost, we saw nine changes in mm. the Tunisia game. You know, they, they played all yeah. right, but they have two teams that could, not two teams that could win it, but they've got one team that could win it, but with backup, if any happens yeah, and, and that's incredible when you think about the list of problems mounting up for uh, mm. for Didier the yeah, champs yeah. before the world cup you think you think it's like that you know? but it's not really you know and he's a cool character he takes it in his stride and and and, and another thing i wanted to say which it, i won't say he reminds me of alex ferguson at all because they're different personalities but the fact that they're dealing with top top stars big egos and you can see how they were on the pitch there mm. with each other that's that is that is fantastic that a manager is big enough to absorb all that because sometimes they're not egos have their own ideas they do they do things their own way they want to do it they want to prepare like they want to prepare and that they have a lot of power not only in the group but also to the outside world because they have people's attention but, but he does that. yeah 